Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily cryptocurrency and we saw a big fall on Bitcoin under 35K and closer to 34K, almost at 33K. And that's obviously with the geopolitical movement going on and the situation in Russia with the bombings in Ukraine are definitely having a um, effect on Bitcoin and crypto as a whole. It was down 8% this morning. Okay, now with that being said, it did bounce back up and it did recover quite swiftly here all the way to 38K, all the way to 39K, and right now it's sitting at 38K. So people are probably wondering if they should minimize the risk, if they should sell their coins. We're going to go over a few different coins in this video, and in the second half, we're going to go over some NFTs. So make sure you stay throughout this entire video and smash a thumbs up if you appreciate this content constantly for you guys. Okay, so we see Bitcoin with a support as low as 29 to 28K. That's probably where Bitcoin will bottom out. However, it kind of seems like it's bouncing off the support that it set recently right at that 34K um, in January earlier this year. It was bouncing around 36K, 35K, and even 34K for a little bit. A lot of people are even talking about a reversal coming for um, Ethereum. So there is a flag pattern, right? So there is a lot of talk about Ethereum going to like 5K or even higher out from here. It's keeping its head above water right now. We really don't want to see it go back to like 1900 or below $2,000 per coin. Right now, Ethereum is holding on pretty good. It was down to $2,300 earlier this morning. It's already back up to $2,600. Um, hundred and it was at 3200 earlier this month as well so this article goes on to say that we really don't want ethereum dipping below twenty one hundred dollar because that could lead to um, a half a trillion dollars in liquidation the price of bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies plunged by nearly 10 percent some altcoins even down like 20 percent because cryptos can suffer volatile price swings the maker protocol requires that all debt positions to be over collateralized, this means that the deposit requires to mint $1 worth of DAI might require up to $1.70 worth of deposit of crypto. This ratio is called the collateralization ratio. Uh, Maker's protocol require this over collateralization. As suitable mitigation for price swings, it enables the DAI to maintain the stablecoin status even if the crypto price dips suddenly with ETH down around 10%. Um, over the last 24 hours to $2,400, seven sibling positions is in danger of being liquidated. If this happens, the selling pressure could potentially trigger even more liquidations um, for other trading positions. The last time we were in this position, seven siblings was able to remedy the situation, although they still lost about $60 million. Okay, so there could be a lot of selling if Ethereum decides to dip below $2,100 per coin. Some other quick news before we jump into NFTs is the auction house Sotheby's um, withdrew a collection of 104 CryptoPunks NFTs that were expected to be sold for up to $30 million as the seller decides against them. That's a huge thing going on right now. Um, NFT platform one of announced the launch of its sports pass collection a series of one of one 3d rendered nfts designed by animation studios eighth frame which grant holders exclusive perks of one of new sports theme nft marketplace and some regulation news you'll see canadian prime minister justin says the government can revoke the emergencies act now that the crisis in ottawa and at uh, canada's border crossing has calmed down Per the Financial Post, he added the law enforcement agencies are prepared to deal with anyone engaging in unlawful or dangerous activities. China announced its expand to crack down on the crypto industry and announced powers to jail those found guilty of raising funds via token sales. So that could be a big deal. The country's highest court amended its interpretation of the country's criminal law to make raising money from public through virtual currency illegal. According to a statement, the amendment comes to force on March 1st. Some other breaking news, you'll see crypto brokerage S Fox is in talks with large banks and market makers, including Jane Street to open a market of facilitating the trades of Bitcoin derivatives, Bloomberg reported citing the company co-founder George 
The idea is to use non-deliverables forward um, contracts and DFs to give banks their wherewithal to expose clients to BTC at a greater scale through a contract at an agreed upon price that settles is cash. Okay, moving over to NFTs, Invisible Friends is the big story right now. Crashing OpenSea yesterday. They haven't released the art yet, so once they release the actual art, it can go one or two things. It can go all the way down to five floor, or it can go back up to 15 floor. Now, what we've seen is actually it go down. It started at 10 Ethereum floor, it went up to 11 floor, and now it's down closer to nine floor. These are on my radar, but I want to really get in probably around three Ethereum, maybe even four Ethereum. And that would be a lot of money for a lot of people. You'd probably have to sell a lot of your cryptos and other NFTs to buy an invisible friend, which is always a risky thing instead of diversifying. However, I think this can be a prominent NFT in the space for years to come. I think invisible friends can do it right and turn into a blue chip stock if they continue on the path they're going down. However, anything can happen in the NFT space. And of course, there's always a chance that invisible friends just won't make it for in the long term. Let's talk about tubby cats because they're only a 0.5 floor right now with a volume of 12K. And that 12K basically came in just a few days. This one obviously can go either way. You know, it can go down to 0.3 floor, which I think is a little bit more unlikely for, but it could also go to like 1.5 to 3 floor if the hype continues. Remember, there's 20,000 items, so you have to take that in consideration when you're looking at the floor price. You also see headlines on Tubby Cats right now. Someone paid 500K in Ethereum to mint 900 Tubby Cats. So if you ever see projects just jump out of nowhere, there's always some risks of some sketchy situations going on. You know, somebody on their team could just be buying all these to kind of inflate the price, inflate the volume, and show that there's demand for this project. However, if you go into activity, you can actually track where the addresses are coming from and how often the sales are ha happening. Just by the frequency of the sales, probably is no foul play going on, but if I have a 0.5 Ethereum budget, I would probably look at something like Crypto, let's see, Crypto Bats by Ozzy Osbourne fell to, I saw it at, 0.35 yesterday all right and i actually personally scooped one up myself they're already bouncing back to 0.4 there's going to be more utility behind these ones um, and they're also going to be mixed with like board ape so you can actually um, bite your board ape and give the properties of your board ape and kind of mix them together now this one kind of looks pretty good with the green jewel drool uh the orange body tiger stripes on the back bunny ears, rainbow sunglasses. That might be a good pickup. This one with the brain out might be a good pickup. I think that these ones can definitely come back and I set my price target to sell right at 0.95 Ethereum on crypto bats. I'm even considering um, picking up another crypto bat if they fall back to like 0.5, uh, 0.5 three five or under 0.3 floor that will be more tempting for me now another um nft that i did pick up recently i posted this one on the close friends list a few days ago when i picked it up along with the crypto bat so if you want to get all of the alerts whenever i'm buying cryptos or buying nfts message me on instagram a few more spots available on the close friends list where i post all my buys and sells but we see zero and one force. This is an NFT that actually been around for a while. You can see the volume is some of the highest out of any project on OpenSea. 47,000 volume with only a four floor price of 0.49. And there's not even 10,000 items available, making them even more rare. Logan Paul picked up some of these in the past. Um, obviously, it didn't go the way that people wanted it. You know, it was in January, it was like 2.5. And then it just kind of died out from there. But you can see they've kind of had consistent volume all along. They also have some anime art, which is popular in the space right now. So I ended up picking up one of these. I think there is some rare ones out right now. These, these ones are on rarity.tools. So if you want to look for a rare one on there. And remember, of course, this is not financial advice. Anything, anything can happen to these NFTs. 
You know, they can go to zero, even open C. There's no guarantee that open C will even make it. There's always risks of attacks to open C, people getting hacked all the time. So just be very careful out there and only spend money that you're willing to lose. Don't be spending money on NFTs that you're gonna need next week, next month, or even the next three to six months. This should be all disposable money and you should set yourself a budget so that way you're not going overboard on NFT investing. It's extremely easy to get overboard, to go overboard on NFT investing. And sometimes that takes away from crypto investing. So you don't want to take away from your crypto investing. You want to only use disposable income and you want to get involved with great projects. Uh, this is one that you want to probably do a little bit more research on. Do some research on the team. Also, check out their roadmap, their Discord, and their Twitter. Obviously, this has been a very sought-after NFT, one of the most volume, highest market caps of NFTs of all times. Here's their Twitter, by the way, with 88,000 followers. You can actually see Gary Vanderchuk and a bunch of other people follow this project as well. And it looks like people are still engaging with every single post that's posted, and people are still still excited with what's going on um, with the future of this project. And the last one that we'll talk about is hash masks. Remember the items are a little bit higher on this one. The volume is extremely high, very sought after NFT. Okay, and this is one that's pretty easy to swing trade. Typically when it hits like that 0.6 or under 0.6 mark is a good time to pick up one of these because they very frequently go above 0.75 and they very frequently go above one Ethereum floor. However, it doesn't last long when they go above like one Ethereum floor. So you better have an eye out and be watching at all times. There's even times where they go above two Ethereum floor. So this is a pretty interesting one. I'm actually a fan of the artwork too. It's kind of... Um, you know, satisfying, very artistic feeling and artistic looking. And if I remember, because this is an older project that's been around for a while as well. But if I remember, the, uh, this is an actual artist that does these ones too. So it's instead of like a profile picture, this one's more revolved around the art. So this is the last one I'll leave you guys with. Do your own research on it. Check out the artist. See the team behind it. See if there's any utility behind it before you go and purchase any of these NFTs. Make your own decisions. Do your own research. Check out the utility. Check out the team. Check out the Discord, the community, and everything else. And I hope you guys appreciate these videos. If you do, just to prove it to me, just smash the thumbs up button. I'll keep making these videos for you guys as long as you keep liking these videos and commenting below. The more engagement you guys post, the more videos I'm gonna be posting. Remember, I'm also running the daily stock market. So if you're not getting a video on the daily cryptocurrency channel, there's a good chance that you're gonna be getting a video on the daily stock market and vice versa. I try to at least do five to seven videos every single week for you guys between the two channels. Thank you guys for all the love and support you have been showing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.